I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The reading for Tuesday, May 5th, can be found in Ezekiel 34, verse 23 through 31. And I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them, and he shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild beasts from the land so that they may dwell securely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. And I will make them in the places around about my hill a blessing. And I will send down the showers in their seasons. They shall be showers of blessing. And the trees of the field shall yield their fruit. And the earth shall yield its increase. And they shall be secure in the land. And they shall know that I am the Lord. When I break the bars of their yoke and deliver them from the land of those who enslave them. They shall no more be prey to the nations, nor shall the beasts of the land devour them. They shall dwell securely, and none shall make them afraid. And I'll provide for them prosperous plantations, so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, and no longer suffer the reproach of the nations. And they shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. And you are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. The new normal. I will make them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land. Verse 25. As we grow older, we acknowledge that we do not live in a perfect world. But that does not mean we should become complacent and accept everything as is. The prophet Ezekiel did not accept the new normal that afflicted Israel, the injustice towards them who were poor and hungry, the greed and violence of the powerful, the desecration of Israel's holy places. To these, Ezekiel add ecological destruction and violence of predator over prey. Ezekiel's vision is cosmic. God's covenant of peace envisions human life in harmony with the land and all its creatures. Showers will bring only blessing. All plants shall yield their fruit, and every tree shall be secure in the soil. The whole creation will be watered, gardened, and a wildlife park of pleas. Here's to a new normal. God desires nothing less than the restoration of creation. At the beginning, God made all good things. Now we place our hope in the time when God will make all things new. Let us pray. God of heaven, you hold the earth in your hands. Strengthen me to care for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.